okay as you can see uh, my skill set right here for PI is 780,000 skill points and uh, I think advanced, advanced planetology is not even that important um, so okay uh, I was going to train command center upgrades to five see if I could change my setup to make it more profitable but I am training other stuff now so the point is is that with 780,000 skill points you can train a character up to that in about two weeks or 14 days uh, provided your attributes and everything are set so give or take a couple weeks okay so we got our skills here let's look at our planets uh, planets all right now this is an extraction planet and you'll see I do not have enough power grid to stick a, a, a tenth processor right here but uh, that's very rare because you really got to get them close together and the links between uh, are very short the shorter the links the less power grid and CPUs you they use so I start out I stick a extractor and then the, the launch pad which I use to hold the stuff I don't use any storage modules those are a waste uh, at least for my methods they're a waste so when it extracts it feeds directly to the launch pad and then there's the, you know the command center all right so I put those three and then I surround them with uh, basic processors so I extract um, aqueous liquids this is a water planet by the way a water uh, let's see what kind of planet is it I don't know but this is where I, I, I get water from this planet so I get aqueous liquids and I set my timer for 24 hours uh, and I have all 10 heads out okay so um, they extracted the route I set is aqueous liquids out to from there to the launch pad and then from the launch pad the launch pad holds it because it has big storage okay uh, the launch pad holds it and it will send it uh, routes it gets that many aqueous liquids in and then it sends aqueous liquids out uh, see outgoing uh, to all of the processors and then the processors process the aqueous liquids and then send it back to the launch pad so those are the incoming water and after a couple three four days of uh, extracting uh, processing sending it back to the launch pad the launch pad will be full and it'll have a crap ton of water in there and uh, you you know you pick it up so the links you need are from like here to here here to here here to here here to here you want to make the shortest links you can linking everything together and then let all you have to do is tell it where you're going from and where you're going to on your routes and let it figure it out now uh, if you're extracting a large amount which I am all ten heads are out this link right here where it it draws a great big amount every 15 minutes and it'll send it to the launch pad for storage the link in between there you will need to uh, upgrade twice maybe I can't upgrade it anymore um, but you'll need to upgrade it twice and then everything else is just as it seems okay now 
Uh, we moved to an assembly planet. At an assembly planet, you stick your command center down in the center. No links go to it. And then uh, around it, you place six uh, advanced uh, advanced industry facility. Okay. You want uh, six of those around, and then you put the three launch pads there, there, and there, and then you put four and four and four so that it's in this pattern. That way your links can be the shortest because once you have it this way, your links only go from a launch pad to the processors and a launch pad to the processors. So it's kind of like three separate installations as far as the links go. You drop uh, you drop off 12,000 and 12,000. Uh, this isn't running right now, but to give you an idea, when I drop it off, it'll run fine. Um, you drop off 12,000 and 12,000 uh, water and electrolytes that come from your extraction planets into each of the uh, launch pads, and they will send, let's see, routes they will send 40 water and 40 electrolytes out to each of the uh, processors and then coolant will come back and it sends it right back to the uh, launch pads so you with 12,000 and 12,000 that's the most that it can hold. I think there's a fraction extra, but don't worry about that. 12,000 and 12,000. Uh, 12,000 water and 12,000 electrolytes. And it will run for about two days, at which time each launch pad will have about 1,500 coolant. So that's 4,500 coolant per planet that is set up this way okay I just turned a contract in for I have eight planets doing assembly three on this tune and f five on my all warp off and right there is the contract that I turned in for uh, cool it. What was it? 35,000 or something like that. Let me see if I can find it. Thirty-six thousand cool it. So that's eight planets of 4,500 coolant each. 36,000 coolant is 265,500,000. And that's for sitting around waiting for it to run for two days. And that's basically how I do PI. All right, hope that helped. Uh, it turns out I did forget to explain one thing. Um, Okay, this is the epithal. An epithal is the ship that you'll want to use for doing your PI. Um, this is, if you have combat skills and you can fit the stuff, this is how you want to have it fit for uh, operating in a camped system. You have a nice buffer tank, you have uh, speed mod, if somebody sends drones after you, you can smart bomb the drones, you navigate, you maneuver quickly, and you are double stabbed. Okay, so, uh, anyhow, I just wanted to make sure you saw how I had my epithals fitted so that I, I do PI, I don't even worry about somebody being in local. It does not, I go out and do my PI anyway. So, there you have it. That is all of my uh, PI skills.